Hello guys, so welcome back to another vlog. And so for today's video, I'm going to show you the proper way on how to pump down the refrigeration system and how to safely do the changeover of the compressor. So right now, the running compressor is the provision refrigeration compressor number one and we will change over using the refrigeration compressor number two. So come and join me in this new learning. So our provision system has two compressors and we do the change over every month. This is to balance the running hours of each compressor. Right now the one who is running is the compressor number one and we will change over using the compressor number two. And this is what we are going to do in this video. The first thing that we need to do is to pump down the running compressor. In this way, we need to collect all the refrigerants onto the condenser side of this running system. And so the first thing that we did is to close the outlet service valve of the condenser of this running compressor. After closing the outlet service valve of the condenser, then we need to wait for the pressures to reach its limit. Meaning that the low pressure of the system will go until zero or the set value. Then the pressure switch will cut off the operation of the compressor. After that, we need to close the suction service valve of the compressor and then we will close also the discharge service valve of this compressor. In this state, we have now collected all the refrigerant in the condenser side of this provision compressor number one. So this is our refrigeration system. So this is the running compressor. So what we did is that we actually close this valve. So closing this valve while the compressor is running continuously, then all the refrigerant will be collected onto our condenser side. So, once there is no more pressure on the suction side, it means that there is no more freon onto the suction side. Our LP, this pressure switch, low pressure switch will activate and then the compressor will stop. But we need to do it like two times. So, once the low pressure switch activates, then the compressor stops after a while the pressure will again increase on the low uh, on the low side and then what we need to do is to run again the compressor until it will become zero mpa in that way after that we can close now the suction service valve and then the discharge service valve so the whole refrigerant will be staying on to this side only so we can have a clear monitoring on how much is the freon already on to our system after doing the pump down on compressor number one then we need to check the cooling system of the compressor number two. 
After that, we will crack open the shock service valve of the compressor. It is imperative to use the proper tool in this kind of operation so that we will not damage the service valves. After that, we will fully open the discharge service valve of the compressor. After that, we need to open the service valve of the condenser where we collected the refrigerant a while back. And then, we can now switch on the compressor number 2. After switching on the compressor, you keep an eye on the pressures of the system so that you are sure that you have a proper refrigerant flow. As you can see, the suction pressure is slowly going up. To have a better understanding, here is the diagram explanation. So after switching off the compressor for number one, and this is shut, the next thing that we need to do is to open the suction side, crack open only onto the suction side of the compressor number two, and then we need to open fully the discharge side of the compressor. We will keep this service valve after the condenser close. This one will still keep in closed position. And then we will open this service valve. In this way, the prior now will flow into this direction and then we will run the compressor while running the compressor the prion will circulate onto our system all the way to the evaporators and then it will go back to this line and then onto the suction side of the compressor and then it will be collected onto the other condenser we will monitor now on the side glass the level of freon on the condenser if it is going up. And then we are sure that we all transfer the freon or the refrigerant from the number one condenser to our number two condenser. So in this way, we are sure that we have good level of refrigerant on to this side before we will close back this one. And finally, we can open the output service valve of the condenser number two. And in this way, we are now sure we fully isolated the compressor number one of this provision. As you can now see, the refrigerant is started to build up on the number two condenser. We will wait until this one will be at three-fourth of this side glass and we can also check the right amount of pressures onto our gauges. Better to consult your manual about the working pressure of your system. After that, I close the outlet service valve of the condenser on the number one and this one is now fully isolated. After that, I open the outlet service valve of the condenser number 2. And at this stage, we are now sure that we fully transferred the refrigerant from system number 1 to our system number 2. And then don't forget to fully open the suction service valve of the compressor number 2. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and this is your Lucky Jake and see you 